I wanted to do this video for a while, and it's about how to have a thriving morning practice that really fuels your soul, that doesn't take a lot of your time and energy, but really helps you create a magnificent day. And it all starts with your choices in the morning. Hi, my, my name is Katarina Satori. I am a mentor, teacher, and content creator. And nothing is more important in my life than starting my day right. So I'll share with you three things that I do that help me start my day in a beautiful, beautiful way. So number one is I slow it down and I don't rush to start my day by checking email and the phone and jarring my consciousness awake, right? So it's all about easing my way into this reality because when we sleep, we are astral travel. And depending on um, how intentionally you work with your dream world, you can be really busy in your dream world, right? And it takes it takes uh, a return back. Your astral body takes uh, this journey back. So when you wake up, you literally come back from a different reality, from a different dimension. So I always remember and remind others to slowly enter your body as a soul and really feel your physical vehicle, right? Appreciate your toes and your fingers and open your eyes and start your day with gratitude. So that is something that is a tone for my day. I wake up, I feel my body and I say, thank you, thank you, thank you. So the second practice is I use morning pages. And it's a fantastic tool that comes to uh, that that was given to us, introduced to us by an incredible uh, writer and a teacher of writing, Julia Cameron. And what it is is I, you know, I take my journal, and I'm a big fan of beautiful journals. This is the one by Peter Papier Press that you can find online. But you know, I have found beauty opens the heart that's why i have the flowers that's why i love to i love to dress up and i love to surround myself with beauty because beauty not only uh, shifts your vibration and expands your consciousness it uplifts your spirit and nourishes your heart so um, beauty is very very powerful it fuels your spirit so the second tool i open up my journal and I write for two to three pages, a stream of consciousness. Mm -hmm. And what it does, it helps me to empty my mind. And what I've noticed for people who have very active imagination and very active mind, this is a crucial daily practice because the more you can process through writing your thoughts from previous day, maybe ideas that you got um, you know, the day before, you put it on paper, you create room in your beautiful mind for fresh ideas, for fresh inspiration. And also morning pages help you to be real with yourself. This is not um, a journal where you describe um, where just you describe your day, even though if you want to do it, of course, go for it. But this is really um, pages where you don't censor yourself. You express what you really want to say because you know nobody's going to read it. It's your uh, mental cleansing experience. So if you want to be petty, if you want to complain, if you want to, if you want to just like get your worry thoughts out. This is, the, this is the place to do it, you know, and it's so beautiful. The moment you give yourself permission not to be perfect and not to censor what you're going to say on morning pages, it's you're moving through any kind of heavy thoughts and out on paper. And now you have a clear mind and a clear mind that has space to attract magnetic thoughts and magnetic ideas. So then the third thing that I do, I feed my mind. Once I liberated my mind and create some space, I feed my mind with high vibrational uh, reading, right? So something that really, really fuels my spirit. 
and you know i've been collecting uh books for many 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 decades um so i'm a kind of a bookworm and i love 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 amazing books so something that i will read like the jinkies by richard rod any kind of a spiritual nutrition that really fuels my soul. I tend to read seven to 10 books simultaneously, you know, uh, because it fuels different parts of my brain or what I'm contemplating in. And um, so, you know, it's uh, sometimes I read Tao Te Ching. Sometimes I read, um, you know, different books about feminine empowerment and feminine leadership. And sometimes I read these deep, mystical, esoteric books. But whatever is uplifting for you, Wayne Dyer, right? Carolyn Mice, um, all these incredible teachers, Deepak Chopra. What are your writers and fuel your mind? And, you know, a lot of times I will read a paragraph and I'll contemplate and I journal about it. And I take a sentence that really moved me and I write it in my journal. So to summarize, the first thing that I do is I slow down and I enter my body from the astral world, from the dream world in a very conscious and gentle way. And the second thing I do is I empty my mind through a written meditation that, that is called Morning Pages. And if you'd like to learn more, simply Google Morning Pages by Julia Cameron. And then the third thing that I do, I fuel my mind with high vibrational rituals, uh, high vibrational literature, right? And the books that really expand my mind and fuel my mind and inspire me and inspire me to show up um, as my best self during this day. So these are the three things that set up my powerful morning. Give it a go. Let me know in the comments if you are, if you, if you receive, um, if you receive transformation and inspiration from this video and share with me, how do you create your powerful morning because how you start your day is how you're going to spend your day even though you know you can always pivot and and choose again i have found if my morning practice is not strong my day is not strong either so really give yourself this ultimate gift of creating your most incredible morning and that's the energy that you're going to set. And that's the energy that's going to carry through the entire day. So thank you for joining. Thank you for watching this video. And you can learn more about my work by visiting my website or following me on Facebook as katarinasatori.com.